Okay, I think we're live. Just wanna make sure, see if anyone is gonna join and I need a sound check from them. I don't know how to see if anyone's like joined. I can join. Yeah, why don't you join Austin? Hi. Yay, we have four people. Hi everybody. If you're watching this, do you mind commenting below if you hear me speaking? <laughs> I just want to make sure that my voice is heard. Yay! Hello! Hi, Felinda! Hi, everybody. We're going to start here in a f Yes, awesome. Thank you so much. Um, we're going to start in a few minutes. I just want to make sure we get all the technology. Okay. How do I flip the camera? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, it's, there we go. Okay. <laughs> 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 Mallory? Hi, Mallory. Hi, Mallory. Hi, Jen. Hi, Professor Daly. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Hi, okay. Trinity. Perfect. <laughs> I'm, yeah, it's fine. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. Yay, awesome. Okay. Yeah. All right, you guys ready? Uh, is it two o'clock yet? You can you can go like thirty seconds, like let people get on. Yeah. Hi everybody. <laughs> go Rachel. <laughs> you hear that? Yeah. You, all go um, you let me know when to start. Just go ahead and start. It. Okay. Thank you. We're running here. Okay. I am going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to talk for just a little bit just so we can get some more people added on if we're having any travelers. Um, but I just wanted to introduce a few things. So thank you first, um, everybody, for being here on the Facebook Live. I know it's a different um, medium to get a recital than most mediums. Um, and it definitely was a little disappointing at first to hear that my senior recital would be online, but after... Um, getting to prepare this piece for the past couple, or these pieces for the past couple of weeks. Um, it's really just become something that I'm really grateful for to still have a chance to share this music I worked really hard on um, for the past uh, semester. So I'm just really blessed and grateful to get a chance to share what I've been working on with you guys. Um, so feel free to leave any comments in the live stream if you want. I won't see them until afterwards, just keep that in mind. Um, and my family is all here in the living room as well listening, so you'll hear applause. I will bow as if I'm on stage. Um, and I also wanted to explain a bit about my program. So I chose to play pieces on flute and piccolo as well um, by female composers, by women composers. And I wanted to explain a little bit why I decided to do that. Um, so for starters, most of the standard repertoire for flute is written by men. Um, and a lot of female composers, both for flute music and also just in music history, have been overlooked. Um, so this is more than just a statement or just a way to stick it to the man, no pun intended. <laughs> um, but it's more a way to kind of explore the sounds um, of flute music that we may not have heard in a standard flute repertoire like recital. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the selections I've chosen. The first piece. It is called Sonata for Piccolo and Piano by Amanda Harbour. Um, it was written very recently, and this is a really brilliant addition to the flute repertoire. It has three movements total. Um, I will be talking between each movement just um, to give myself a little break and also to explain each movement. Um, so the first movement I'll be playing is primarily in 5-4 time, but you can also hear other complex meters like 11, 16, it's a very fun piece, very rhythmic, and I find it really charming, but also pretty melancholy at times.
movement. Um, so second movement, same piece. This movement is very wistful. It's a bit minimalist, but with a twist. Um, and I find this one, I like to imagine sort of floating through the clouds for this one. I love this movement. It's very beautiful and heartbreaking in a way. One second.
my favorite. So I hope you enjoy this last movement. <laughs> Thank you. 
mention also these piano recordings come from my amazing accompanist, Yuan. So Yuan, if you're watching, thank you so much for your amazing contributions to my recital. Sorry we couldn't play together in more of a chamber setting, but those recordings are phenomenal. So I'm very thankful that I had her um, to play with for my online recital. Okay. Next piece is going to be Danza de la Merhaza by Valerie Coleman. So this is a very exciting and challenging piece. Um, it's considered a tone poem, which just means a descriptive piece of music which inspires a story. Um, it includes the rhythmic and melodic sounds of South America. Um, it also is inspired by the continent's vast population of butterflies. Um, so I think that you can easily imagine a fluttering butterfly um, flying through different sounds and styles of music when you listen to this piece. Um, and without further ado, here is Danza de la Mercosa.
cooler? Yeah. Thank you, Grandpa Corner. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good.
Well, thank you again, everybody who is listening. I am so excited to see um, who all took the time out of their day to come listen to me play. It really, really means so much that you are here. So thank you so much. Um, thank you to all my family who's sitting here in my living room listening to all my practice hours that I'm screeching away on piccolo. I appreciate your patience through all of that um, and for all of your support throughout the years. Thank you, parents. Thank you, Austin. Um, thank you as well as all of my friends who I've met at TCU in the past four years um, who have supported me through everything I've been going through and all my musical journeys, all my life journeys, um, and for your unconditional friendship. I appreciate everything. Thank you to all of my amazing professors, some of whom might be here um, listening in. Thank you for broadening my musical horizons over my four years at TCU. Thank you especially to Dr. Thompson, um, who has been my studio professor at TCU for the past four years. Um, Dr. Thompson has undoubtedly encouraged and challenged and supported me throughout all of my life events and changes, notably during the time when I was unsure about what I wanted to do after my undergraduate and ultimately leading to my decision to pursue music therapy. Um, and my now decision to attend TWU to, um, I guess, pursue music therapy and also retain my passion for flute. So thank you so much, Dr. Thompson, for everything you've done. I'm so thankful for you. <laughs> I'm gonna get emotional, sorry. Um, okay, before I start crying. Um, so I wanted to make one last statement before delving into this next piece. Um, so obviously, like I mentioned before, I wanted to do an all women composer recital to showcase some of the amazing flute music written by female composers. Um, but I do hope that one day I won't have to do that. And I long for the day when the distinction of women composers is no longer necessary. So like I mentioned before, I wanted to choose women composers because women are you know, often overlooked by the men composers who are in the standard flute repertoire. Um, and I've been thinking a lot about why I felt called to do this. And um, the thing about being a woman is that even the title woman or female can sometimes become this precursor to who we are and what we represent. So, for example, I said that Amy Beach is a prolific female composer, but isn't she also a prolific composer without the female? I mean, she is female, and it was very much a definition of her identity at the time, but, and we're blessed now that things are different. Uh, we enjoy a lot more um, freedoms and privileges than women did in the Romantic era, or even just a few years ago, so we're definitely we have a lot of changes for better or for worse as women, um, and we now have the opportunity to become and be anyone that we want to be. But sometimes women still get this precursor um, on our profession or job title. Am I a musician or am I a female musician? Um, is that person a conductor or are they a female conductor? Is she a writer or is she a female writer? Um, so this title woman can be empowering for sure, definitely very empowering, but it can also feel very alienating if it's not our choice to use as a descriptor. So all these women who compose the pieces in my recital, they're all women composers, and they're all really great composers, but that's the thing, they're all composers. Um, I'm a female flutist, and I'm also just a flutist. So my gender describes me, but it does not define me. And I don't want to let it hold me back any longer. So I look forward to the day when being a great female musician just means being a great musician. So that's all I wanted to say about that. I would love to hear your thoughts later. In the meantime, I'm going to play my last piece. This is Introduction and Variations by Leopoldine Blahetka. Sorry, Leopoldine Blahetka. Also romantic a bit earlier than Amy Beach. Um, very fun piece, and you'll hear a lot of piano interludes called ritinellos between each of the um, each of the variations.